Welcome to Electron Line, and to give us a better understanding of electromagnetic radiation, let's take a look at some sources of electromagnetic radiation. So in general, we tend to think of sources for electromagnetic radiation would be certain antennas. You know, we're very familiar with radio broadcast antennas and dishes. A lot of us have, have dishes on our house that receive, ra that receive television signals at the microwave radiation, but those devices can also send out signals. Uh, we think about light bulbs, we think about stars, the sun, any object that we're familiar with that sends and receives electromagnetic radiation. Uh, but it turns out that the electromagnetic radiation is actually produced by just about everything in the universe. Any object that has matter in it produces electromagnetic radiation. Just take any object, a rock, a brick, no matter what it is, even an ice cube, contains atoms and those atoms at the center have nuclei which are positively charged and depending upon the temperature of the object the atoms will vibrate back and forth because of thermal agitation thermal energy the hotter they are the faster they vibrate the cooler they are the slower they vibrate but at any temperature above absolute zero those objects those atoms in there will be vibrating back and forth in all various directions so as they vibrate back and forth, the electric field around them, just like we illustrated right here, will be oscillating up and down, and that oscillation will then move outward at the speed of light. So we can see that, that electromagnetic radiation is really produced by any object in the universe that has matter in it, because matter will be vibrating, and that vibration will then carry with it oscillating electric field and magnetic fields, which will then, then move away from the object at the speed of light. Now it turns out that the vibrational frequencies of the atoms are all not at the very same frequency. Some vibrate a little bit faster, some vibrate a little bit slower, so there's a distribution of frequency rates of vibrations of these atoms. Because of that, the frequency and the wavelengths of the radiation that's emitted from an object is typically over a wide range of values. So some have shorter wavelengths, some have longer wavelengths, and because of that, the photons, the small package of energy that leave the object, will have various frequencies. There will be a frequency distribution, and here I try to draw what that frequency distribution looks like. This is called a black body radiation curve. Notice that some frequency, the most of the atoms, or no, I shouldn't say the most, but uh, the frequency that occurs the most will be at a particular wavelength, at that particular wavelength, the highest energy or the highest intensity will be emanated, but we can see that there's vibrations with longer wavelengths and vibrations with shorter wavelengths, meaning lower frequencies and higher frequencies, accompanying then with energy that emits from an object at these various energy levels. What we can compare it to is what we call a black body radiation box. Let's say you take a shoe box and you make a tiny little hole on one side. Even though the walls of the shoe box may be perfectly white, if you put the lid on it and you look through that little hole, it will look black inside. Why? It's because there's, the hole is so small that no energy can enter into the box and come back out. For example, if a photon of visible light enters the box, it's going to bounce around inside the box and not be able to get out. And so the energy then will be distributed throughout the box, heating up the walls of the box to a certain temperature, and usually it will be about room temperature. And so therefore, the only energy that comes out will be the radiation energy from the atoms on the walls of the box itself, and not reflected light of light that actually made it into the box. And so therefore, what we see coming out of the box is simply the radiation coming from the vibration of the atoms on the walls of the box, just like what we talked about here in this object. And so whatever energy makes, out, makes it out of the box is typically the radiation energy from the walls of the box, and therefore that's called the black body radiation curve, because when you look in there, all you see is a black body. You don't see any color at all. And if we then study the radiation coming out, it will again look like this. That's where this curve came from. It's simply the distribution of the energies that come from an object, be it from inside a black body radiation box, or simply from any object that radiates our energy due to vibration of the atoms. So electromagnetic radiation is produced by some common things that we know, like antennas, light bulbs, stars, the sun, things like that, or any object in the universe simply because of the vibration of the atoms. So what we mean, therefore, is that electromagnetic radiation is all around us. Every object around in the room, around you, anywhere you go, you walk through the forest, the trees, the grass, the ground, everything emits electromagnetic radiation. We're constantly baited in electromagnetic radiation coming from every object around us in the universe. Kind of interesting how predominant electromagnetic radiation really is. And we'll study a little bit more about the differences of these radiations. 
So anyway, I'm hoping that you're getting a better and better understanding of what ENM waves are simply by watching these videos. And on to the next one now.